Hey everyone! How's everyone doing today? I am doing pretty well. Okay. Sorry, that was Sasha. She was saying hello. So today, I wanted to change it up again. And um, I'm, I saw this cool thing. Actually, my cousin tagged me in the video. And you take acrylic paint, which I just ran to Walmart and got all these colors. They're the Apple Barrel, and they're 50 cents each. So, hey, you know, it's affordable. You don't have to get all these colors. I just, you know, sometimes I go a little crazy with colors. So, I just got seven colors. I got the Spice Berry. Now, this is multi-surface. I did not realize that, but when you checked out, it's 87 cents. So, but that's still not bad. And then I've got Jack o Lantern. Wild Iris, Ripe Tomato, Bright Red, Yellow, and Nutmeg Brown. I thought these were all fallish colors because that's what I'm going for. I'm in the fall, I'm in the fall um, mindset, even though it's uh, warm here again. I knew it was gonna gonna do that. It felt like winter couple of days ago and now here we feel like it's summer again so yeah welcome to welcome to Georgia all right so what you're supposed to do now I've never done this I'm just going by with the video and there was no talking in it or you know whatsoever so I'm just going by the seat of my pants here but I'm gonna take some of the color and you do a one-to-one -one ratio so I'm just gonna squirt some into the um, thing here. Then you're supposed to add water. One part water to it. And I'm just eyeballing it. All right, and I, of course, forgot stirs. Hold on. Okay, so I got some craft sticks here. Oh, I think I put too much water. Oh, that's a little runny. It's not supposed to be that runny. Ooh, I put way too much water in this, y'all. Oh, dear. Might have to dump this out and try it again. It's not supposed to be this runny. That much I do know. It's supposed to be like the consistency of like a cake batter almost, I think. Alright, this is way too runny and I'm not going to sit there and try to put more paint in. I feel I will use too much. So, let me dump and I will be back. Okay, so I poured out most of the liquid and I'm just going to add a little bit more paint. See if I can't get it to the consistency that it needs to be. I think even a little bit thicker than that. That's the consistency we want like that. All right. So I'll fast forward through me making all of these. Okay, so I think I've got them pretty much the right consistency. So 
Now what you do is you pour layers on, right? Because it's going to be like a marbled effect. So I think I want to start with a little bit of the brown. Sorry about that. Shh. Okay, and then I think I want to go... Shh. Kids are outside playing. And then I think I'm going to drizzle a little bit of the yellow on. Like so. And then I think I want to go with this spiced berry color. Oh no, oh no. I'm not supposed to do that. I don't think it will matter. Okay. And then maybe go with. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Jeez Louise. Then uh, maybe go with the bright red. All right, so there are my colors. And now what I need to do is they have it up like this. And then you just are supposed to pour it onto your canvas. Oh, that's awfully red. canvas. Oh man, that's kind of cool. Isn't that cool? It's awfully red though. Wow. So I guess if what primary color you want, you would want to put that on the top. And you do want to make sure that you are protecting your space. All right, let me get another cup and we'll mix up some more colors. Let's see. Let's go with some yellow again. And let's go with this red. I just want a little bit of it though. Not too much. All right, like that. Maybe we should do it like that. Like get a good layer. And then I think I'm gonna do purple. On this one. Yeah, okay, so now we should have three layers. And if you can look on the sides, you kind of can see the three layers. So now let's pour this on. Tapping, splashing. It looks cool inside. <laughs> I wish it would do that on the canvas. If we move it around, maybe it will. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Hush. Hush. Y'all just want to be in the video. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I'm digging this. This is fun. I don't know if it's really fall looking, but... It's cool. Okay, then I'm going to do one more color. One more, I think. Because I do want some... Excuse me. I do want some brown in there so you will know that, you know, that it's fall. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put the brown on last. Uh, let's do some more of this spiced 
berry color. I like it. It's pretty. Alright, and then let's do some more orange. Right, and then let's do some more yellow because those are the colors you usually see in the fall in it. And then we'll do a little bit of the brown. Okay, now that's a lot of paint. So it's going to go everywhere. So let me move these things out of my way. All right, here we go. No turning back now. Oh. oh my gosh, that is so stinking cool. It is cool, y'all. I'm digging this. And what's cool about it is, here, let me move these out of my way. What's going to be cool about it is if you do several, oh my God, if you do more than one, you know, like if you're going to make a trio or whatever, it will all look different. They will not look the same, you know, and that to me is very, very cool. So you can have a masterpiece and um, with three things that really is just gravity working and your imagination with color oh my gosh see like you can move the swirls to where you want them the more you tilt it and the more you play with it and it is very messy just to forewarn you but I don't mind messy oh my gosh y'all look at that oh my gosh that is so cool this came out better than what I thought it was going to do. Okay, I, I dig this. I could do this all the time. Alright, so I'm just going to leave it on the little things here. <laughs> Look at my hands. Blah. I wanted to put um, some glitter in it, which I think I'm going to... You know, I have to always bling everything out. I can't just leave it like this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Hold on, let me get my glitters and wash my hands. Get all this stuff off my hands. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this glitter. I've got that. And then I have all of these. There's several in here. And I think, but first though, I noticed that some of the edges are not totally covered. I don't know if I like that. So I'm just going to take my finger. I'm gonna just cover them up, even though it doesn't look like the swirlies, but at least they'll be covered and it's not just white. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of paint. I should have put paper down. I didn't realize it was gonna be this much paint. It's a lot of paint, y'all. So just be, be aware of that. It is a lot of paint. I thought I would get away with just using my craft mat, but I probably should have just put paper down so you can just crumple it up and throw it away because that's a huge mess <laughs> okay so I think I'm gonna use I think um let's see what these look like like little stars I like it <laughs> this is so fun I mean you don't have to be so serious with everything you know Life is too short to be serious all the time. Put some red in there. We'll just see what that looks like once it dries. Okay, they say to let it dry for an hour. Not an hour, my bad. 24 hours. So, we'll see. Put a little bit of purple in that. <laughs> all right. I know I'm off. Some of it's off, but all right, so that's it. I'm gonna let it dry. I think this looks super cute. Okay, so um, 
I think I'm in the mood to do another. Since I have paint left, why not? I don't want this paint to go to waste. Do the gravity trick and we'll see what we get. that dry. Ooh, that is so cool. Isn't that cool? Should I put glitter in it too? I guess if I want them to match, I need to, huh? That is so cool. Y'all, I love this. I love it. It is messy, but that's part of what I love about it. <laughs> Yee! It is so cool. I think I will put some glitter in it. Alright, I got some glitter. Put some of these purples on here. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Um... Of course, you don't have to put the glitter on there if you don't want to, but I do. I like it. There you go. Alright, that's all I'm going to put on there. Cool. Oh, wait. Let me do some fine glitter. Maybe do some of this copper. Oh, yeah. I like that. Woo! I really like that. Oh, almost too much. I like it almost too much. <laughs> uh, let's see. I got a little bit of black just for contrast. I guess this is sort of like splattering at the end of an art journal page. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right, we're going to let this dry. And then we'll uh, compare them. All right, y'all, I'll be back. And so here they are, finished. I believe this was the first one, and then this was the second one. Isn't it cool? I love it. So cool. Well, I hope that this inspired you to try something different, try something new, get the kids involved, let them have some fun with some paint. It's so much fun. I love this. I'll probably do... Uh, Christmas one and you know you can even do a St. Patrick's Day Valentine's so cool or even if you just have colors in a room you can just do it for just art you know minus the sparkles if you don't want the sparkles but I like sparkles all right y'all well I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up share it and subscribe if you've not already subscribed and if you have subscribed thank you thank you thank you so much I truly 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 appreciate it um, but don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll always be notified when I post a video. Alright y'all, y'all be good to one another and I'll talk to you later. Bye.